Good morning, I am going on a podcast today, so I thought it'd be a really fun time to do a vlog. It is a vegan podcast, it's with Viva, and I will leave a link for it down below. And yeah, I thought it'd just be a fun day to do a vlog, show you kind of like what I eat in a day, what I'm doing today, because I'm also off for brunch at Mildred's. My friend Yasmin's in town, so we're gonna go have some food and I'm gonna film some brunch footage. So yeah, just fun day. I feel like we never talk about beauty anymore, and that is literally my roots here. So I've actually started using a new foundation and I am obsessed with it. Very light coverage, very barely feel like it's there. Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation from Revolution. It's got no silk in it, obviously. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, and it does just feel weightless and offers like that nice little bit of coverage without being too over the top. And on my lips, I have Riga, Riga from Lush. They have just like relaunched quite a bit of makeup in a few of their stores. I found some in Lush Oxford Street and I really like this. It's such a like summery color. Hmm. I gotta get ready to go. I got this dress in the post yesterday. I think it probably is still a bit too spring, not summer to be wearing this. And also please excuse the mess in my room. If we're waiting for things to be perfect, I would never film. <laughs> Absolutely obsessed with this dress. And I'm gonna wear it today, even though it's probably not warm enough for it. It's a vintage find, it is French Connection, and I'm just obsessed with this. I think it's gonna be one of my favorite dresses this summer. Pancakes look amazing. Not really what I'm in the mood for. <laughs> no porridge, I don't come out for porridge. The catcher though, love the catcher. So I'll go one of these. Hey! No, I'm so blessed. <laughs> Just two influencers letting their cameras eat first. Yeah, I'm a bit worried because it does say spicy, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've just been in Barnes, been recording the podcast, and it went really well, I think. Um, it's always a bit weird for me to film something and for someone else to edit. Um, I've got a little less control. There was obviously more things I could have said or been more concise about, but I think that's natural for anyone when they do something like that, so I'm not really too concerned. And yeah, it will be out within the next two months, so I will keep you guys updated on that. And now I'm actually currently doing a meal deal review series for Instagram and I'm really near my friend Helena so I'm gonna get bus go see her and we're gonna go try out a meal deal film it review it I'm really on the hunt to see what the best one is so far I've not loved Sainsbury's Tesco's was pretty good Co up now and I think I'm gonna do Asda and Boots for the end of the week but yeah in the podcast we mostly covered obviously vegan beauty talking about like cruelty free also discussing what it was like being vegan all the way back in like 2007 spoke about politics celebrities just the usual stuff so really fun really enjoyed it and hopefully it comes out good hopefully i sound smart and lovely and great fingers crossed <laughs> I got a couple of vintage parcels through. We're actually having a Naughties themed party at the house over the weekend. So I've got a couple of things for that. Obviously did a vintage haul. <laughs> I do um, secondhand fashion. So first off, a Von Dutch hat. So I'm thinking if I have this and then I'm gonna plait my hair. I think I saw a picture of Britney a bit like this. I'm down for being Britney inspired. So yeah, like proper plaiting my hair. God, this feels a lot cheaper than I thought it'd be. But yeah, and then I've got this little like angel top. Costume parties, stuff like this. I think you just have to go vintage. I've also ordered a low rise skirt or what I think is a low rise skirt. I'm very nervous about that one. The party is like three days away and it's still not arrived. We'll see. I'm a jammy influence, you guys already knew that. I got offered the Surrey toothbrush. I feel like I've been seeing this everywhere and I saw it in Sainsbury's and I was like curious. I was like, oh, I want to try this out. It's like 70, 90 quid. So I was really happy when they offered to send it me. Yeah, it's like less waste. The heads are made from renewable cornstarch with castor oil bristles and they're recyclable and I've got a recycling bag here. Yeah, I'm excited to give that a go. They had a few colors and I went for the green one. We won't brush the problem aside. I like the wordplay. Okay, well, here's what half it looks like. <laughs> 
I'll construct the rest of it later. Excited to give that a go. If you guys want a review of it, let me know and I'll either mention it again in a future vlog because I don't know how much I can talk about a toothbrush or I'll do a full video on it if you guys have a lot of questions. I feel like I've just seen it all over the internet and when that happens, I get curious. And then this is something that I ordered myself. This is a <laughs> little skincare haul. God, so many parcels for me today. I'm also thinking about doing an updated skincare routine, so let me know if you want that, like a nice little one in time for the warmer summer months. Skincare or makeup, actually. But I really feel like I spent the majority of my day just on trains today. East London to King's Cross. King's Cross to Barnes. Barnes to Putney. That was just the bus. And then back all the way to East London. So it feels like I haven't done a lot today. It's just because I've been on trains. So I stopped up on my Pore Bright N10 serum. I discovered this stuff in lockdown during 2020 and I haven't stopped using it since. I used to have like really congested skin. Like this sort of skin is the skin I dreamed of. I mean, like I'm not gonna say I'm spotless. Like this one's been pissing me off. But generally, yeah, I'm much better skin since. And I also got the Pink Clay AHA mask. Big fan of Face Theory. They're a really, really good brand, all vegan or cruelty free and it's very skincare specific. So if you've got any like specific formulas you're after, I took their skincare quiz and these are two of the products that they landed me on and I haven't stopped using them. I look a sight, don't I? But yeah, I think that's a cute little haul to end today on. This is my little day in a vegan influencer vlog. I need to go edit my meal deal video and post that on Instagram. And that's pretty much me done for the day. Goodbye and thank you for watching.